I'm Chris. And I'm Noel. And uh, welcome to the MFE cast. Today we're going to be talking about the Versatrax 150. It's the configurable internal pipe crawler inspection system. And uh, Noel's got a few applications for that. And these applications are just a few. We're talking about uh, sewer and storm drains, hydroelectric pipes and infrastructures, steam headers, tanks and pressure vessels, pipelines, mining industry, just to name a few. So, uh, you know, we have a few key features on the product that we'd like to go over today. Um, the first one being the tether cable. Uh, it does have 500 feet on the reel. Um, you know, we do support, well, you can support up to about 1,300 feet. Um, and it is waterproof for up to 100 feet, too. Um, and we'll go over the speed a little bit with you. Um, we're looking about a, about a half mile an hour. So you're looking at covering about 30 feet per minute. So to do a 500 foot reel, you're looking at about 16 to 17 minutes. Yeah, which really isn't bad. I mean, you know, it's you look at the speed and you think to yourself, oh my God, that's so slow. But, you know, it's me and you were talking before. You were saying, yeah, oh, you're, you're doing an inspection. Yeah, you're doing you know? an inspection. So <laughs> yeah. it's not like you want to fly by and miss anything. You know? Exactly. Um, so, but it's a really awesome little uh, piece of equipment. Uh, very agile. Yeah, so it's got the, uh, it's got the whole... Uh, it's like high resolution color, the pan, the tilt, and then it's got a zoom as well. Um, and it also actually has a uh, color uh, rear auxiliary camera. Um, I know. What did you think about the auxiliary oh, very camera? Very amazing high resolution cameras that it has on it. You get uh, two monitors, so you're constantly monitoring your rear and the front. Uh, so if you get into an obstruction or something, you can easily back out uh, of any pipe or vessel without it having any obstructions get in your way. You know what I really liked? I really liked the uh, the return to home position um, that oh, you were showing me. Oh, the return to home position yeah. with the camera. So say you're in there and you start looking around, and all of a sudden you get lost and you can't find your way back to the home position. There's actually a button you can press, and the camera will bring itself right back to the home position, facing forward down the pipe or whichever way the uh, the actual VT is uh, headed. It, see, so I actually like that. So I noticed they started doing that with the Wooler. They did it with the uh, the Viz Seven Hundred. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they they did it with like the three forty or three fifty models. Um, I don't think they did. The three forty does have the, the return uh, to home. The, it doesn't have the return to home, but it does give you a degree. Yeah. So that you know where you're turned, which which way you're facing. Yeah. So if you're inside the pipe, you're talking about the, the and the, the camera head is uh, the Wooler or the the. The 150. Both. The oh, okay. and the 150. Oh, nice. So, nice. so if you're you're pointed in a certain degree, it'll mm -hmm. give you the degree, degree angle. And that way, if someone's testing the pipe from the outside doing UT, yeah. uh, you can pretty much find the precise area of what you're talking about and what you're looking for. So I like it because when I hit the, the return home position with a lot of these new cameras, like you were saying, when you're all disoriented, it's all over the place. You have no idea where you're going. I like the fact that I could just hit return home after I found the indication backed off of it a little bit. And then I know the exact position that it's in. So if I want to show them, uh, like when I was in the field, we'd use 12 o'clock, six o'clock, you know, wherever right, this right. indication's at, like, like, oh, it's at the two o'clock position. I'll know that because I've homed that camera back into the, uh, the center position. And as I'm looking at the video, I can kind of, you know, mark that out. Right. Um, so I, I really like that feature, the return home position. I, I mean, I think that's going to be on everything now. You know, kind of like how, yeah. how cars all have the, the backup camera now. Yes. I think it's a requirement. Yes. You can't even yes. buy a car without a backup yeah. camera. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, minimum pipe diameter, uh, six inches uh, with the inline chassis. So, um, you know, when we were using the product, I noticed that, that you actually had it. You had it up, but um, I didn't realize it, but you can actually compact it down. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah you can compact it down. Um, right now, we have it in the uh, what I would call the tank formation. So you have the two treads on each side, um, but then you can turn it into what I like to call the centipede or the snake position <laughs> where you have your tracks back to back, and that's when you could take it into those six-inch pipes. How um, hard was that to adjust? Because um, I saw that the tracks will, you know, um, flare out. Yeah, and the tracks you can put will do in. that pretty much on its own. Once it goes into the pipe, it'll it'll angle itself to the pipe itself. But there was a um, like a little thing on the but like on a the dial top on the for back. the camera itself to mm -hmm. to raise it up and down. All it is is a pull system. You pull the pin out, you lower it down to your specific height, and you slide the pin back in. And you're good to go. Nice. And then it, it, I think there's like a brass piece for adjusting the yes. the tracks on the side yes. on the back of it. Yep. Nice. 
Okay, I mean, that's easy. That's I mean, anybody can use it. Um, and then as far as the uh, auxiliary lighting, um, so that's the, the, the lighting on the actual outside of the camera. On the outside of the camera, yeah. looks like headlights. Exactly, yeah. It's not the... Uh, it's not like the, I guess they would call it the narrow spot lighting. Right. So that's like right in front of the camera. Right in front of the camera. And then you get that uh, refraction issue. Well, reflection, yeah. yeah. So, so what it does is these are the auxiliary lights. They're a little lighter than your actual lights on the camera itself, but they're adjustable. Um, so are the RVI camera lights as well. They're adjustable. Yeah. So you can go from a light beam to a really bright beam depending on what environment you're in or obviously how dark it is and we had two of those two of those lights go out and that was just a a, a simple trip those were what 50 you watt know, as crazy as it sounds Ace you... hardware yeah Ace hardware repaired it three dollars each bulb good to go simple um you know but another thing that i noticed about that versatrax is the weight of it so this is not one of our smaller uh inspection systems for crawlers no like... we're, we're not looking at the 20 pound crawler this thing is uh easy 90 pounds so you're gonna want yeah. a two-team lift um using this piece of equipment it looks a lot lighter it inside does. the case uh but when you do take a hold of it you're gonna realize yeah i should have had a buddy <laughs> yeah yeah you grab with that one hand you're like oh my god it's, yeah. it's rated at 88 pounds yeah. so i mean yeah it's just, i mean that's damn near 90 pounds right. like but that, what that weight has to deal with is uh when you're taking it into like sewer drains and, mm -hmm. and you know, and you got the, the storm drains, you got the water still in there. Uh, that weight uh, allows it not to get pushed around. That's true. Or to float. That's true. So it will grab traction and it will move through that. And that's a pretty strong motor on there too. It's gotta be because I mean, it say, they say it supports a 200 pound payload. It, it's a 200 so pound payload. It's so wild. it's got what you call low torque, yeah. kind of like a diesel truck pull, you know, yeah, it right. doesn't go very fast, but it will, it'll take the weight. I do like how easy it is to cut corners with it because oh, you notice on that one track goes one way, the other yes. track goes turn, the other. That's why I say if, you, it's just, if you've all ever seen a tank, it, it's just like a tank. Yeah. It literally will turn on a dime for you. So the camera is a 10 times optical zoom yes. and a four times digital. So we didn't, we didn't actually, I, I think you used the digital zoom. We don't have a, a video of that though to, no, to show uh, these guys. Unfortunately, the time I didn't, I was uh, demonstrating it to a customer at the time <laughs> yeah. when we were going through that zoom. So they call that two wide beams, two narrow spot. Um, yeah, I'd say, you know, as far as crawlers go, um, if you need something that's a little more heavy duty, like Noel said, if you've got some sludge and whatever else, I mean, these, these, the tracks aren't magnetic though. No, so I, tracks I did are not magnetic. Um, definitely cannot take it up a wall. Um, <laughs> It when we have would, something for that though. We, well, we do, <laughs> well, but that's a whole other yeah. cast that we'll talk well, about that. Um, but the VT-150 is definitely a strong RVI crawler. Um, it definitely gets in places that you don't want to go into yourself. Yeah. So that concludes the MFE cast for the day. Um, if, uh, you know, if, if we are a reseller of yours and you want to come on to the show, um, you know, we can zoom you in. Um, if the whole pandemic thing wasn't going on, we can have you come in. That's right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you're interested in rentals or if you have more questions about the Versatrax 150, um, yeah, give MFE rentals a call. We have local offices all over the place. Um, and, uh, we ourselves are from Benicia, California. Yep. So if you see this and you're in California, um, pick up the phone or don't be afraid to shoot us an in mail too. Or go to our, uh, yeah. our website at mferentals.com. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy a short video of, uh, everything that we, uh, discussed today. Mm -hmm.